Welcome to WebStyle Plus. How to split array into chunks or sub array using JavaScript. In this video, we will look into that. But before that, give this video a like, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, because I am bringing similar content on this topic. Okay. One way of splitting array into chunks is this define a function called chunk array that takes two arguments, my array and chunk size. This const will store results array. Initially, index should be zero. Use a while loop to iterate over the elements in my array in chunks of size, chunk size. The loop starts at index zero and at each iteration, it pushes a new subarray of my array to the results array, starting at current index and ending at current index plus chunk size. Increment the index by chunk size so that the next iteration will start at the next set of elements. Return results at the end of function. Return the results array containing the chunks of the original array. Now this is the array to be passed to function. In console log, pass the array with array size and it will return array of chunks or array of subarrays. We passed this array to this function and this argument is responsible for number of items in chunk of array. And if index is confusing you, it is not 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It is like this, 0, 2, 4. Two, four, six. Another way is to define a function called chunk array that takes in two arguments, an array called my array and a number called chunk size. At the beginning, results variable with empty array. Use a while loop to break up the input array into smaller arrays or chunks of the specified size. The loop continues to run as long as the input array is not empty. Each iteration of the loop, we are using slice method to create a new subarray from the input array, starting from index 0 and ending at the specified chunk size. This subarray is then added to the results array using the push method. The input array or my array is updated to remove the just chunked elements by using the slice method again. This time starting at the chunk size index and ending at the end of the array. At the end of the function we will return results. Define an array called my array and pass it to chunk array function to break it up into chunks of size 3 as specified here. And resulting chunks of array are logged to the console. Another way is to define a function called chunk array that takes two parameters, my array and size. Define an empty array called results, which will be used to store the chunks of array. Use a for off loop to iterate through each element in my array. Inside the loop, create a variable called last which is equal to the last element in the results array. Check if the last variable is undefined or if the length of the last is equal to the size parameter. If either of these conditions are true, push a new array containing the current element of the loop to the results array. If these conditions are false, the current element is pushed to the last array in results. At the end, 
return results. Results now contains chunks of the original array of the size specified by the size parameter. Call chunk array function and pass array and size to it. And here is the result chunks of array. And see this last undefined one, one, two, three, three, four, five. Another way is to define a function chunk array that takes two parameters, my array and chunk size. Return an array created by the array from method. It will have two arguments. The first one is an object with a single key value pair that creates an array with the length of the ceiling division of the length of the input array by the chunk size. The second argument is the function that will be called for each element of the new array. It receives two arguments, the current element and the index. Use the slice method of the input array to select a portion of the original array and return it as a new array. The slice method takes two arguments, the start and the end of the slice. It starts at this and ends at this, where i is the current index of the array. Call the function with an array of your choice and size as the arguments. The returning value is the chunks of array. This code is a more concise version of the previous code snippets. It uses the built-in array method to achieve the same results in fewer lines of code. So this is how you can split array into any number of chunks in JavaScript. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.